G'day. Welcome back to another episode of The Art of War. This is another preface, and this one is titled Appreciations of Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu has exercised a potent fascination over the minds of some of China's greatest men. Among the famous generals who are known to have studied his pages with enthusiasm may be mentioned Han Xin, Feng, Lu Meng, and Yo Fei. The opinion of Cao Kung, who disputes with Han Xin the highest place in Chinese military annals, has already been recorded. Still, more remarkably, in one way is the testimony of purely literary men, such as Su Sun, the father of Su Sung Pio, who wrote several essays on military topics, all of which owe their chief inspiration to Sun Tzu. The following short passage by him is preserved in the Yu Hui. Sun Wu's saying that in war one cannot make certain of conquering is very different indeed from what other books tell us. Wu Qi was a man of the same stamp of Sun Wu. They both wrote books on war, and they are linked together in popular speech as Sun and Wu. But Wu Qi's remark on war are less weighty. His rules are rougher and more crudely stated, and there is not the same unity of plan as in Sun Tzu's work, where the style is terse, but the meaning fully brought out. The following is an extract from The Impartial Judgments in the Garden of Literature by Cheng Hu. Sun Tzu's thirteen chapters are not only the staple and base of all military men's training, but also compel the most careful attention of scholars and men of letters. His sayings are terse yet elegant, simple yet profound, perspicuous and eminently practical. Such works as Lun Yu and Qing and the Great Commentary, as well as the writings of Mencius, Tsung Kyung, and Yang Chu all fall below the level of Sun Tzu. Xu Zui, commenting on this, fully admits the first part of his criticism. Chu Zi, commenting on this, fully admits the first part of the criticism. Although he dislikes the audacious comparison with the venerated classical works, language of this sort, he says, encourages a ruler's bent towards unrelenting warfare and reckless militarism. And that is the end of this miniature episode. I hope you got a little bit of a break. Feel free to join me for the next one, and good night.